G'day guys, Ryan here from Next Level Adventures and welcome back to Showcase. Today we are in the beautiful small town of Candos in Midwest New South Wales and we're going to be giving you guys a look around. So in this video you guys will find all sorts of different information on Candos so that when you head out here on your next adventure through Midwest New South Wales you know everything that there is to know. So let's get into it. Welcome to Candos, a small town in the New South Wales Midwest. Candos is only a small town with a population of merely 1,200 people. It is a sister town to Ralston, only a short 8 kilometres away. Candos was formed as a town in 1913 with the intention of exploiting the rich limestone resources in the immediate and surrounding area. Thanks to this, Candos became a massive producer of cement and eventually earned the nickname the town that built Sydney. The cement works were the major draw to the town for many decades, although since their closure in 2011, the main attraction has switched to more simple things such as arts and craft, attracting many artists and the town itself having a few galleries and interesting art stores throughout it. The origin of Candos is interesting also. The name is an acronym that is comprised of the names of the original owners of the cement works and a local MP at the time of the original opening in the early 1900s. Candos is easily accessible within a day trip from Sydney, located a mere 234 kilometres from Sydney and only 93 kilometres north of Lithgow. This puts it right in the middle between Lithgow and Mudgee, the two main attractions in the area. Candos is only a mere hour's drive from both. Now there is plenty to see and do in the town and the surrounding areas. The main attraction in Candos is the Candos Museum. The Candos Museum is located in the old Candos Methodist Church at 22 Buchanan Street. The church was built in 1919 and is the first Spanish mission style church in Australia. It is a modern concrete building with a flat roof and rectangular floor plan. The cement works donated the concrete for the building. Its modernist style was derived from the Methodist Church in the American hometown of the manager of the cement works. Its many exhibits provide an insight into the region's industry and social history. Thematically, it includes industrial candos, candos modernism, candos indigenous communities, and candos war service, and candos social history. From the museum, there is a good view of the massive aerial ropeway which the cement company used to convey limestone from its quarries back in the day. Other attractions in the area include Candos Rotary Lookout, which is around 2 kilometers out of town towards Ilford. The road, however, is unsealed, and so make sure you drive to the conditions. Windermere Dam is also not too far away, on the Kujigong River. It's located about 32 kilometers northwest of Candos and 13 kilometers beyond the Kujigong Waters Park. It was completed in 1984 to meet irrigation, stock and domestic needs in the Kujigong Valley. The main attraction of the dam and lake are camping, with cabins and caravan sites, water sports, fishing, and the dam is stocked with golden perch, murray cod, silver perch and catfish. The lake covers 20 square kilometres with a total capacity of 368 gigalitres. The wall of the dam is 825 metres long and 67 metres high. There is also another small dam to check out at Dunn Swamp, located 30 kilometres west of Candos on Davy Road. Dunn Swamp or Gengutty was originally built to provide water for the Candos Cement Works, located on the banks of the Kujigong River and nestled among some stunning sandstone pagoda rock formations. Dunn Swamp Gengutty is home to over 107 bird species with a number of walking tracks and it offers an excellent opportunity to study the biodiversity of the region. You can also canoe at Dunn Swamp if you feel like it. Other attractions within the general region include Glen Davis, located 48 kilometers south of Candos via Glen Alice Road. Glen Davis is an old shale mining ghost town on the Capote River. The first mining tunnel, established in 1881, later became the basis of the major mining enterprise which opened in 1938. The post office was opened the following year. A town of some 2,500 people developed around the mine. The town was named Glen Davis after the Davis Gelatine interests who headed the mining consortium. The operation was closed down in 1952 due to higher costs and increasingly small output, leaving what remains today. 
a fascinating ghost town characterized by crumbling furnace ruins retorts and collapsed shafts covered in vegetation and surrounded by steep sandstone cliffs and a profuse array of bird life glen davis has a picnic area with an amenities block there is a bushwalking trail to Nunes up the Green Gully in the Wollamai National Park, following the old pipeline track. There are lyrebirds, Banksia serrata and assorted eucalyptus. Information on this walk is available from the museum. The only realistic way to see the ruins of the old shale mining town is to go on one of the Glen Davis Shale Oil Works tours. There are also a few places to eat in Candos along the main street. There are a couple of small motels around and if they don't fancy you, there is more accommodation in Ralston, including a small caravan park and camping available at Ralston Dam. If you don't mind a bit of travel to Dun Swamp, the campground is in the Wallamai National Park and is only 30 minutes away, as well as Kujigong Waters Park, another 30 kilometers west. They offer camping and cabins. For any further inquiries on the area, Candos has its own visitor centre that you can visit upon your arrival. So thanks for watching this episode of Showcase. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to like the video and consider subscribing to Next Level Adventures so that you don't miss any other showcases that we do. You'll also find plenty of other adventure-related content over on Next Level Adventures, so make sure you head over, take a look, and consider subscribing. Well, as always, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next adventure.